What is up everyone? My name is Tyson and this is Seeking Birdies. As you can probably tell, I am on a ferry. We are headed over to the Kitsap Peninsula to play Whitehorse Golf Course. It's a little chilly. By the time we get over there, hopefully it's warmed up a little bit. But until then, roll the intro. My name is Tyson. I'm an average golfer that loves the game. Come along as I share my experiences both on and off the course, Seeking Birdies. Number one, par four, 350 yards. We're playing from the members tees, which means on number one, we're playing from the blue. It's a little foggy as you can see there, but there's nothing better than playing a little golf on a crisp fall day. Of course, it's looking absolutely beautiful. Fall colors are definitely out. Let's tee off, number one, let's do this. Oh, are you serious? Okay, opened up with a par. It's probably the best start I've ever had, especially after shanking that second shot. On to number two. As I walk up to my second shot here, I'm gonna have to look for it. But as I do in some of my videos, I talk a little bit about the course. White Horse Golf Club, they opened up in 2007. It was originally designed by Cynthia Dye McGrary, which is the niece of the legend Pete Dye. That being said, this is a Dye Designs course. In 2010, it was purchased by the Suquamish tribe. And in 2012, they brought in a local architect, John Hardbottle, I believe is his name. And he came in, he removed some bunkers, made it a little bit easier for the average golfer like myself. It's definitely a playable course, but it is definitely a challenging one. So let's go find my ball and uh, finish the hole. These second shots of mine are, ew, are a little rough. So definitely need to clean up that. Jeez. Ah, get up there. Okay, just finished up on number two. To be honest, I two putted, but I forgot to push record. So, double bogey on number two, so I'm plus two through two. Moving to three, it's a long par five. It's a long walk. I'm walking the course, because that's how we do it. Let's uh, jump to the tee box. Okay, par five, number three, I just finished with a six. Considering I lost my drive, it went hard, hard into the uh, woods. Oh, I missed it. Off to the left, so I took a drop. I was able to kind of scramble and get it done for a bogey, so I will definitely take a bogey on that hole because it started out pretty ugly.
just got done with number four, part three. I kind of made a mess of that. Ended up with a double bogey five. Ugh, that just did not go right. We are at number five, part four, 349 yards from the blue. But I'm gonna take a quick little break because my brother showed up with a case of donuts. I'm gonna have a jelly-filled donut and then uh, tee off here on number five. Ooh, jelly-filled. This donut is brought to you by Top Pot Donuts, a local favorite. A little plug, they're not sponsoring this video, but if you want to sponsor it, reach out to me. Email's down in the description. That's one way of doing it, I guess. I just didn't hit it. Whew. On the green in three. Left myself with probably about 30 feet from the pin. Putting has been a little inconsistent today, but I, don't know. I was just saying the game of golf is a little crazy. Another bogey, par five bogey six. So could be an eight. Could be a nine, could always be worse. I could be at work, but I'm here golfing. So no complaints from me, even though the scorecard eh, isn't that pretty, folks. It is, you know, I think I'm doing better than I normally do at this course, but I've kind of had high expectations for uh, my score. So moving on to number nine, par four, 399 yards from the whites. That's the member tee for this hole. I am hoping just to get this down the middle because the last few holes I've been struggling with my driver. So I should probably just keep it in the bag, but go big or go home, right? I am on the tee box of number 10, just finished number nine, ended with a double bogey. I am plus 12 through nine on the front nine. I think I'm doing a little bit better than how I normally do, which is not a good thing to say, but that being said, I'm gonna break this video up into two videos, so I will release the part two in the next couple days. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I upload that video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, give it a thumbs down if that's what you're into. Subscribe if you're not already and turn on notifications by clicking the bell. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to interact with you down in the comment section. I will see you all in just a couple days. Keep seeking birdies. Oh.